Okay, folks, this is Craig the Butterfly Man. It's the uh, end of July. Uh, it's going to be a video to show you that uh, how to raise monarch butterflies, any number from one to a thousand. Folks, naturally, safely raise clean monarch butterflies. Okay? As you can see, I have plenty of nectar plants here. These are Cosmos, monarch's favorite nectar plant, and bees love them. They're a great plant from seed to Seed to bloom in 45 days, plant them in June in the Midwest and Northeast and the South. You can plant them the first of May and you'll have them a lot longer. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I got going here, folks. This is, uh, of course, you've seen this. This is my, a lot of you've seen this. This is my 25 foot butterfly tray. I take this to schools and kids walk through it and I'll have anywhere between 30 and 100 butterflies flying around in here and they will in this and they go out the back. Okay, so what I've done is I've wild caught some monarch butterflies, okay? And uh, I've got some little extra nectar little feeders in here. Those are 9 to 1 sugar water. Okay, so what I do is I cut, this is common milkweed, you can do this with tropical milkweed. Now remember bleaching is important, very important in Florida. You've got to bleach the stems with the eggs on them in Florida, or at least bleach the eggs, which becomes a pain, because you got to take them off the stem. Okay, these monarchs lay eggs on these stems, okay. I've got, see them here, i got different... And that little one dollar pitcher you get from Walmart, okay? It's a little one dollar plastic pitcher, okay? And I got plenty of nectar, okay? I got zinnias, I got everything in here. Here we go, now let's go. I'm going to show you how to bleach, see? You take that stem, once you see that there's tons of eggs on there, you take that little pitcher, you take, you'll have four or five gallon buckets of water. Okay, the very first bucket you'll dump a, a quart of bleach, 32 ounces of bleach in it, the first bucket, and then you'll fill it up to the top with water, and that's a 19 to 1 solution, which is what you want. The other three buckets, which I know you can't see them here, but there's a total of four is what you need, five gallon buckets. You take those stems, turn them upside down inside that bucket with the bleach in it and count to 60 or keep a stopwatch for a minute. You don't want it any longer than a minute because the eggs will melt. In a minute is what it takes to to, to kill that OE. And then you slowly rinse it in each of the next three. In the last one you want to have your hose and keep it running over so that water is really staying clean for a long time. I even kind of changed the hose out into different areas. So now you've got clean stems of milkweed, folks with eggs on that are clean. So now you're not going to introduce any OE into your enclosure. Now, you can go out and cut a, cut yourself a, you find an egg on a stem, got the stem, take it home, put in a cup full of water, you know, rinse it off. If you find the egg, don't rinse it off. Use a little 19 to 1 bleach solution do the same thing you're going to do it in a five gallon bucket you know it, it it doesn't hurt five gallon bucket if you just got one and then say you take that and you can set it in the window or you can put it in a pop-up you know you just got you don't have a pop-up put it in the window now these pop-ups are seven dollars at walmart okay this is another generation i did before this from another oh i don't know it's like three or four wild caught females because my yards attract a lot of butterflies this time of year so I just catch it with my net right in my yard and then I have there's lots of different places around here that have big stands of common milkweed so what's occurred is really pretty simple folks you get these pop-ups Walmart it's called a pop-up mesh hamper it's 15 inches by 15 inches by 25 inches I think they're about seven dollars it's got a zipper lid on it you can see they got some eight-sided ones they don't have a lid. Then you gotta put a blanket or something on top to keep the caterpillars in there. And they'll hang on the blanket and they'll hang on the edges of these things too. So, so far, all you've really got is you've got a pitcher and a pop-up. So you got $8 plus tax, okay? Now, with those other ones, you wanna make sure there's about 70 eggs on however many milkweed you put in your pitcher and put in one of these pop-ups. It keeps all the brass, in one area 
keeps it in the bottom. These were just raised in here. All these were just raised. I haven't dumped out the frass, but what you just keep adding bleach stems of clean milkweed, just like the stems you had in there with the eggs on them. Uh, they're 23 inches long because the pop-up's 25 inches long, so it clears the top that way. And eventually, you'll have all these on top. You'll have your pitcher in there like this. It'll be looking like this. But I've already taken the pitchers out of here. Now, I added a couple pitchers when I wanted to add a whole bunch of new milkweed. But you know, once these things start getting bigger, you don't need to put the stems in water when you put them in there. You can just throw them in there like I have this stem. You see that stem? They're devouring it. See, they haven't started hanging up here yet. But they will. All these other ones, they're hanging. They're hanging on top, folks. See them? See them hanging there? Lots of them. You go back. This was a wild caught one. So, see, you can wild catch a female. You don't need a trailer. You put her in here with a bunch of nice, clean, rinsed stems of, of common milkweed, 23 inches long. Put about three or four in there. Let her lay eggs. And within three days of her starting to lay, you want to take her, take those stems out, let her go, or put her under another pop-up with three stems, and take those stems and go do the bleach thing, the 19 to 1 bleach to water and the um, three rinses, okay? And then you start with a clean thing here every time. You just got to remember, and then they, they find their own way to the top. You don't need to put them, change them from... Tupperware thing to Tupperware thing. They, this is how you do this. This is the most natural way, and you don't have to handle them. You don't have to keep worrying about them all the time. Whether and you know you don't have to worry if they're getting air. I got a little fan going in here. I got it room temperature, but you could run air conditioning if you want to, as long as you don't keep it real cool. I would say you'd want to keep it around 78, just so that the process goes faster. You can see. I have no idea right now how many chrysalis I'm going to get. I'll do another video to uh, show you. But these, I'll, once they're all up, I'll clean this. I'll take this outside. I just wanted to show you. This is how all the frass is contained. I'll take this outside. I'll dump the frass out in the yard. I'll rinse the thing off, and I'll have a whole bunch of, of uh, chrysalis, and in 10 days I'll have butterflies. Now, I'll let them go in my yard because I have plenty of nectar. Now, you may want to go to a garden center. And, and with, with your pop-up that looks like this all clean out and release them, people start talking to you and asking you about it, and you can get more people to uh, join the cause and the movement to raise monarch butterflies. The more we get, the better. Okay? Now, these, since we put nothing with OE on it in here, then nothing can come out of here with OE on it. Got it? If you don't put it in there, it can't come out. Oh, he is a living organism, okay? So I'm going to let you go right now and get off this thing. It's just, like I said, it's Craig the Butterfly Man. Dot com. Go to my website. All this stuff's on there, and this video will be on there, too, in the playlist. So, so watch this video. Watch all the other videos. You'll be an expert. I mean, this is fun. Get your friends involved. The pin post at the top of... The How to Raise Monarch Butterflies group page, open public. Share that on your timeline and keep it at the top of your timeline. Share it on your close friends' timelines. Maybe they want to raise monarchs too. The more people we get in this, the better it is, the more monarchs we'll have. Plant those pollinator gardens like I have. But I don't have to go looking for monarchs. I've got them. And I've got common milkweed out there too planted. So, but it takes quite a bit. I mean, this just to raise these, I've used a couple hundred stalks, but there's a couple hundred 23 inch stalks, but there's tons of milkweed out there, folks. And when I release these, these will produce, and probably if I get a thousand out of this, they'll add probably 25,000 to the migration, which is the next generation. These monarchs' children will be the ones that. Uh, uh, are the ones that fly to uh, Mexico. They're the migration generation. Okay. Great the butterfly, man. Over and out. Good luck, folks. Have fun.